to its colour and texture, wallpaper is back in fashion. But many of those new to wallpaper are a little uncertain about how to hang wallpaper. Hi, I'm Mirjana, compulsive home decorator, and this is John Howe, wallpaper expert. Together we're going to show you how easy it is to hang wallpaper. Look at all these wonderful wallpaper colours. Paint simply can't match wallpaper's richer look and feel. The other great news about New Zealand made Vision wallpapers is that it's very easy to hang thanks to the superior technology incorporated in its manufacture. Here's a checklist of tools that will help the job go smoothly. 80 and 120 grit sandpaper, water trough, trimming knife, tape measure, straight edge, scissors, smoother or a paper hanging brush, size and a bucket, sponge, plumb line and last but not least a pencil. Oh and by the way, a spirit level may also come in handy. Both of our rooms have been prepared in advance, but if you need to find out more about the important steps in wall preparation, you'll find more information in the last section of this video. Just a reminder about the importance of applying a good coat, maybe even two, of size to the wall surfaces. Size not only seals the wall surfaces, but it reacts with the pasted wallpaper, creating a slight slipperiness, which makes it easier to slide the wallpaper into position. Now let's relax and take a little time to read the instructions on the label, which also identifies the pattern match of the wallpaper you have chosen. There are three types of wallpaper pattern matches. Straight match, random match and half drop. Measure one wall from ceiling to skirting board, then add five centimetres top and bottom to allow for trimming. With a straight or random match, every length is the same and will match directly. Let's take a quick look at half drop patterns and textures. This paper is described as a half drop because the following length needs to be offset to match the preceding drop length. Cut the first length, remembering to add 5 cm top and bottom to allow for trimming. Lay it on the table, pattern side up. Now the second length will need to be offset. In this case the pattern repeats every 52 cm, so we look for the pattern match at the halfway point, hence the description of half drop. It's easy if you look for a distinctive shape or patch of colour that catches your eye. Once you've made the match, trim off the top piece of waste and put it to one side. Number the lengths by making a pencil mark on the top back area of trim, indicating the sequence and direction in which each length will be hung. Now you understand what a half drop is, consider yourself an expert. In our planning, it's important to think about the ideal point at which to start. Where you start is subject to the design of your wallpaper and your room. The general rule is to start in a corner and work away from the main source of natural light, with the aim of finishing in the least noticed corner. However, if hanging a wallpaper with a distinctive pattern, it is important to consider the room's focal point. For example, with a centrally located fireplace, the first join would need to be centred and the succeeding lengths hung in the direction of both corners. In this room, we are starting with the full length next to the bay window. Once again, planning to finish in the least noticed corner, directly opposite. With a plumb bob, mark a vertical line from this point down. Once the line is steady, place a pencil mark every 20 to 30 centimetres, just like so. It's important to establish true vertical. Window and door architraves are seldom true, so don't use them as a reference. Ready pasted means just that. To activate the paste, all you need to do is to run it through a water trough like this. Place a towel under the trough in case of spills and then fill it two thirds with lukewarm water. Re-roll each cut length of wallpaper from the bottom with the pattern on the inside. Fully immerse for 15 seconds. And then slowly draw the paper, taking it behind the wire out of the trough. Now I have to wait three minutes for the paper to relax. Relax, that's wallpaper speak for time to expand. If you hang your paper too quickly, what's going to happen is the paper will actually expand while it's on the wall and you'll end up with peaking joints. 
traditional method is to book pasted paper while it relaxes. Simply fold the pasted sides together with a larger fold at the top to indicate the top section. The advantage of this technique is that you don't have to rush to hang the wallpaper. Depending on the temperature, you can leave booked lengths of wallpaper for extended periods. Now let's get back to John, working with the paper I booked earlier. Unfold the top section of the booked paper and position against the plumb line. Let the extra you've allowed for trimming to loosely overlap onto the ceiling moulding, and in this example, the adjacent architrave. Working from the centre, smooth out the large bubbles before making certain the edges are firmly in contact with the wall. Don't worry if there are still a few very small air bubbles. Wallpaper is a living thing, and as it dries, these will gradually disappear. Fit the paper around any obstacles, using the back edge of a putty knife and your scissors to make the appropriate cuts. Crease the paper into the ceiling moulding with the back edge of a putty knife and then trim off the excess waste using a straight edge and a sharp knife. Wipe off any paste that might have transferred to surrounding surfaces. Now gently unfold the lower half of the pasted paper and carry on smoothing it into place. Here's a handy tip. Keep your knife angle as flat as possible to the cut and snap off the used bit of blade after making two cuts. That way you reduce the risk of tearing. Large pattern or muted pattern, starting from a central position or a corner, you will encounter this situation where you only need a narrow strip before continuing onto the adjacent wall. So what do you do? 